State colleges nationwide are under severe budget pressure. But according to an exclusive Bloomberg investigation out this morning, 46 of 53 schools cut money from academic budgets, but still spent plenty on sports. And the biggest spender of the bunch? Rutgers University in Castrap, New Jersey. Michelle Steele has this story. Rutgers forgave its football coach $100,000 in an interest-free home loan last year, but across campus, the chairman of the history department, Jim Michelli, is not as fortunate. I do not have a phone in my regular faculty office. No, I'm, I'm dependent on email and on using my own personal cell phone when I come in. To help save roughly $21,000 annually, Michelle and the rest of the history department have gone without office phones in the wake of budget cuts at Rutgers University. Now, while history professors subsidize the school by using their own personal cell phones to contact students, the school subsidizes sports at a level that's much higher than its peers. In fact, Rutgers has been increasing that subsidy. Exclusive Bloomberg analysis shows Rutgers spent over $26 million subsidizing sports, more than any other public school surveyed in the U.S. in the last fiscal year. It also had the biggest operating loss from football of 53 schools surveyed, posting a loss of nearly $3 million. Rutgers athletic director says the school's problem isn't expenses, but revenue, telling Bloomberg Rutgers wants to have a program that can, quote, generate the revenue necessary to stabilize and reduce reduce university support. Michelle is skeptical the investment will pay off. This is not doing good for the university. In fact, it's harming the university and we need to figure out a way that we can we can ratchet down what we what we're doing. Rutgers President Richard McCormick declined to comment. He retires next year and rejoins the history faculty. No word on whether he gets his own phone. Michelle Steele, Bloomberg, East Brunswick, New Jersey.